Doesn't this look like hundreds of thousands of polygons? 300 polygons. Pretty sweet. I um, Shift S, you can copy what you have and move it around the screen as many times as you want to. Uh, Shift S. Move over here. Okay, Shift S. Yeah, anyway, or Control N to clear everything besides your subtool. Okay, let's let's start over because this is really exciting. Uh, doesn't matter, Dynamesh. Just don't save. Okay, now I watched a video recently and I I learned something cool, right? When you have a new um, poly mesh 3D, you can change its subdivision or go to initialize, right? And you've got these options that you can play with. Shift F uh, to see what's going on. Uh, but then you go to uh, make polymesh 3D and the initialize is still there you can um, quickly select simple shapes that you can uh, uh, BMZ or B BCM what is that? Uh, Bay or Z modeler uh, BZM right I don't know why I didn't think of that um, so once you have BZM selected you can uh, start editing these uh, simple shapes very quickly. Okay, now I have been working at this for a hundred years, so I know exactly what this is going to look like. Okay, get rid of these. I don't need those polys. Okay, that is what I want the shape to look like. And let's give it a little bit of color. Okay, green. This is really, really exciting. Uh, let's, I don't know, that doesn't really help. Fill object, so if we go to subtool, our object is now green. Now let's hmm, change the color. Okay, the BCB. Okay, perfect. I love it. That is what I wanted. Okay, now I want to see this repeated. 28 million times. So let's uh, close subtool, go to array mesh. This is so easy. Anybody can do this. Array mesh, okay, select that, and now transpose. Now, the other day I talked about how you can use move tool to move um, your subtool around like that, okay, and then repeat it any number of times. Which is pretty cool, right? Because now I've got a whole crazy alien weapon thing. But uh, let's go back down to zero. Turn array mesh off. You can also use the uh, scale and rotate. So you can move, scale, and rotate your subtool in any way you want to. So uh, that's where I moved it. And let's move it a little bit more. Okay, then rotate it. Okay, whoa. Zoom out. Okay, and in another direction. Oh, that's weird. Okay, rotate, rotate. Okay, and then this direction, rotate. Now oh, it should be, and then you can um, scale as well. So now let's make it small. Okay, um, yeah, okay, tiny. Now, if we go to repeat, it moves, scales, and rotates. Let's, I love that, that's really cool. That's, that's an alien weapon right there, or one heck of a drill. Twenty million dollars, all in 42 polygons. Uh, let's rotate it a little bit more. Okay. No. No. Um, isn't this wicked cool? I had much more control rotating it earlier. I'm not sure what's going on. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's uh, move things around. 
change its direction, F to frame, and scale. No, that was the wrong direction. Scale. Oh man, that's not working. Let's let's start over. Okay, Dynamesh. Okay, BCB. Increase draw size. Let's give it a crazy color. And then make it look weird. Okay. I'm liking it. Then go to geometry uh, dynamesh 8 because I want it to be easy to repeat a million times okay that looks like a Valentine's Day arrow um, okay now what I'm okay B okay let's see array mesh okay array mesh let's turn that on and then uh, Transpose and move things around. Okay. No, it needs to be further out. Okay, I like that. And then rotate. Let's rotate this all the way. Nice. Okay. And in this direction. This is going to be so cool. Watch this. Uh, let's repeat three times, four times, five times. But as you repeat more, you can see the rotation and movement of this uh, crazy object. And the texture. The texture came along with it. Pretty sweet. Uh, I could uh, convert to nanomesh and uh, play with this a little bit. Or probably make this an array mesh and transpose. Okay, move. Right, and then rotate. Nice. It's only 60 points. I thought it was hundreds. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now uh, repeat. And look what comes along. Pretty sick. Cool. I am liking Array Mesh a lot more. And then if you wanted to use this in one of your games or something like that, you could easily do that because it is, uh, oh, it, it's not 60 points now, but let's convert it to Nano Mesh and see what it is. It's a bunch of crazy lines. 144. Oh, that's interesting. Whoa. Pretty weird. Nice. Okay, next I'm going to talk about, uh, ooh, video game objects. Yeah, stay tuned.